my last video, I talked about my opinions on doping in the professional ranks of triathlon. This video, I'm going to share my opinions on doping in age group racing. So I'm actually of the opinion that I think that doping is a bigger issue in age group breaking than it is in the professional ranks. And I think there's two very different groups of people who are doping. First, there's the people who are doping and they don't know that they're breaking the rules. And then there's the people who are doping and cheating and actively know that they're breaking the rules. So let's start with the age groupers who just aren't aware that they're doping. In general, I don't think that amateurs are nearly as well versed on the doping rules as professionals. Whether it's the medication you're taking or something as simple as those post-race IVs that are a favorite for a number of triathletes. You'd actually require a retroactive TUE if you receive more than 50 milliliters of fluid in a six hour period. There's all sorts of amateurs who are breaking the rules and they don't know that they're doing it. Then there's a much bigger problem. People who are doping on purpose. I don't actually know how much it costs to dope, but I'd imagine that between the medication, the doctors, and the testing you need to have done, there's a heck of a lot more age groupers in a position to dope than professionals. The lengths people will go in order to get to Kona can be very drastic. Just think of all the course cutters who have been outed in the last few years. I raced at Ironman Canada in 2015 when the notorious Julie Miller finally got caught. It took her years to get caught, and I'd assume one of the reasons why she started cutting the course was because she assumed that nobody was watching. And I'd imagine the same train of thought would apply to doping. The chance of an age grouper being tested is so remote that the athlete might feel like nobody's watching. And then finally, very much a generalization, but triathlon tends to attract a whole lot of successful type A personalities. Many of these people are used to being successful in everything they do, and they might not have the patience to put in the years of hard work it takes to work your way through the field. As I said, very much a generalization, and it wouldn't apply to all or even most of these type A personalities, but it certainly is an element of age group doping. So do I think a clean athlete can compete and win their age group at an Ironman? Yes, but do I think every age group podium finisher is clean? No, I don't. With extremely limited funding to test athletes at races, and almost no out of competition testing, I don't know what the solution to this problem is. But I'd hope for anybody who considers doping that they think twice about the reason why they got into endurance sports and how doping will go against all the ideals that makes endurance sport great. So thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yeah.